Hi, I did not screw it up. So, do my old save and exit? Right, yeah, so we actually was able to figure out that uh, luminal puzzle with the chemicals without even using an online guide this time. I'm a genius, I tell you. Anyway. Spray bottle. Developer is all set. Filled with solution of luminal and hydrogen peroxide. Old blood stain. I always want to feel like a detective. No, you can't. I have to read the warning label. Okay. And I really hope I don't die now. I must be almost done this episode. I think I figured how you deal with the presence, though. You get it. Just the line of like that little circle that grows inside. Never live to tell the story. <gasps> that makes two of us, man. Watch me open a door and get grabbed by the darkness. I'm stupid like that happens. Detective. I'll probably doctor instead. Those legs there before. Thank <laughs> you. 
wrong one. I can't hear over the violins. Can I open? He did. Sure. Don't let me listen.
Who are you? Oh my god. Clearly, this is the wardrobe. What is this? Could father have left it behind? It's gone. The box isn't here. I've got it. I've had it all this time. How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it and send it to its owners. Le Grant Amsberg. They're the ones who... My office. I'm going to... I hear them crawling all over and screaming. Erica, come to my office. We'll all be there. Well, the box isn't here, I need to go to Paladar and Sophia and head towards Piper's house. for the episode to end. at the bar. I'm stuck with like this light on. a door that was locked from the other side. I can get into it, so... Bedroom is the first story. Let's there. see what's actually there. I want to listen to the door first, genius. Oh, fucking hell! Damn it. 
was a twist. There was father. God. I don't ever don't even want to think music. about what Shh. must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amersburg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Husha, things had improved after returning the box to Faba. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. It sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faber's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited us. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good. Good for her, then. I can't imagine an elderly woman living here. Some of the people from my group therapy, yes, perhaps, but an elderly woman approaching the age of 90? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. The other place didn't? Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsberg? Pardon me? Legrand Amsberg. It's hyphenated. Oh, well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, <laughs> I found something I believe is yours. It seems crazy, but when you listen to it... That's its box. Um, no, I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Lawyer. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. Oof. Thanks for giving me a place to stay. I think the walls would come closing in on me if I were alone. It's no trouble, Dan. You're going to be paying for any pizza, though. Of course. You can sleep in your bed. I'll stay here on the couch. Thank you, Your Majesty. Have a good rest, Sir Daniel. You too. Daniel, are you all right? That had not been a nightmare. I was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like, like those described by father in his letter, shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination, or something worse, much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents, he was researching, delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone, or what he had done. Something that would have followed his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but 
this time, my life depended on it. Book three, Twisted Trail. That had not been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents, he was researching, delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone, or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time, my life depended on it. Said that already. Grace, a PhD student and Husha's mentee, and Professor Nasiri, one of his associates, gladly agreed to give us a hand with the search. They used to stay up late working in Husha's office, so that seemed like a good place to start. We had no idea how serious the situation was. If we'd known about his family, those poor children. I hope we can at least find out what exactly he was after and where he went. There are some papers on his desk that haven't been touched since he left. We have a good chance of finding something there. Lately, I feel like something odd has gotten into Professor Husher. I mean, apart from his usual oddities, he seemed anxious about something and looked like he hadn't slept properly in days. No offense, Mr. Nora, but it looks like it's the same for you. Don't worry, none taken. I'm well aware. This is his desk. As you can see, there are a bunch of documents he uses as research for his novels. It's all here. We better take a look at his computer and the shelves, too. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll find something out. Look at this here. There are some notes where he mentions the music box. But I can't quite understand what he means. AA-375 is underlined. AA, uh, that's how the documents in the Donations and Biographies Archive are designated. Maybe he was looking for something there. Biographies. Let's start with the Archive, then. Where is it? Donations and Biographies are on the basement level. I'm sure it will be closed, but we can easily find the janitor or a key. It's not a very busy area. It's creepy and abandoned like everywhere else we go. Who wants to be our first sacrifice? Researchers eager to discover the world beyond the borders. Grace holds masters in history, flew from the United States to Europe to complete her doctoral thesis and carry a research that was personally important to her. Tutored by Professor Sebastian Husher, Grace is a brilliant student who found Omar Nasiri, a fellow foreigner, a mentor and friend, to whom she has clearly formed a bond of mutual understanding. Well, I hope you say goodbye to him. Caffeine pills. Gotta get those pet pills. I'll go take a look. You check out what else is in that notebook. I 
remember this place being so scary. The news world. Why are here? On the newspaper. Please. Note from Professor Marino. Mr. Glover, I tried to give you back your access card, but I couldn't find you. I thought you were in the downstairs control room, but I see you're not. Anyway, I'm going away for the long weekend, I'm not going to wait for you to turn up. We don't all have as much free time as you. Go to the shelves of the subjects. Top by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of the shelves. Contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as the sign of Dunn's hat and look on the upper shelves. Don't mistake Pressure's hat for mine. They're very different. In fact, I'll take my own with me just to make sure. Goodbye and enjoy the long weekend. P.S. I'm not taking my hat in the end. Marino. Well, no. Besides, he's got it in for Max. Seriously? That was made by administrative staff. So anything you've seen. Time machine is more popular than Omar would care to admit. What was name falls that shouldn't be lying around you? Any personal details? Oh no! Does it say his hat size? I'm gonna need to know that. Prayer? I don't even need paper! Damn, fax me here and somebody doesn't believe when I tell them the days are numbered. They wouldn't throw this possible death at us this soon, would they? Yes, yes. Some special paperwork. Oh, a hat. Eight B. Where's eight? Can I put it on? Six. I bet the one on the couch is this guy's the kind of hat that a douchebag would wear. Hello? Is there evil in there? Philosophy, literature two, French, and yeah, say what he likes, but keeping bugs with pencil to him is a bit psycho. Right now, we spend half time tidying and setting as he spends on annoying other people. Is that like the same model of ship we've seen in the other two episodes? Is that like a hint to something? Bust is in a terrible state. That bust is busted. Hilarious. All is a whiskey. Driving on Marino had a good slug of that before drafting his exams. Just a moment, folks. I we shall return shortly. Get your calls. Get an answer. Go. Oh. Marino's office. Oh, 
Like we done. Donkey holds a paper card. It's of any use to me. Manor Dunn's desk. Who oh, doesn't come to that? What an odd thing to say. Why, why would you need to hide? Find such a nice color notes here. Dunn is such a nice person. He sends me books when I come to his office. Oh, my soul of the devil just to have half a ton of qualifications. I don't think you mean. I would let an evil shadow suck me into the darkness just to have done qualifications. files and things, yeah, I remember those. Troll it, where have they got to? Oh, I'm sure a big evil shadow didn't eat them, did they? I should have turned it out of these newspapers. What are you doing? Stop that. Nothing here. See, that's what I was trying to do. It does that extended animation so you just can't spam looking around. You have to look in the right place. Well, the cigarette child might discover everything Hasher has written down. These notes don't tell me much. There's no death threat on the back. What was that random piano key about? There it is, Marion Albert, you're amusing of the world. It's time to leave Maxwell alone and put on who I see.
it has a window like that, wouldn't you be able to tell? Or... Even the archives of mystery and obvious, there's a classified material storm. I'm just going to max loss to take trigger. I just saw something weird as fuck. I was out there. Why is it so cold all of a sudden? What about your jacket? Can't just stay here. Let's go. I'm going to jog around the books here. They didn't pay their heating bill. Dirt is really weird. It seems like it's just. Not the life it's cleaning. Okay, special dirt. Various miners complete files 20 to 42. Not very interesting. I think it was ridiculously small. Can you imagine filling a mop bucket here? I can't do it with a sink like that. Why? It's going to be attracted onto a white screen. Did you show or what it Ready to use. I used to be a cleaner. So, this is all natural to me. I need to pick up these tools. I think it's just take one. Just in case. Shit, that must be great. 
crazier than I thought. Yeah, that was uh, just crazy as well. That projector. Lights. Okay, I managed to plug the projector into the electrical outlet. We might have a cord. be downstairs, is it? Everything in the right place. Just longer's empty. I can fit inside if I need a place to hide. Good to know. I need another hiding place. I think if it wasn't empty, you should have common sense just to take it out and make space. Into the door first. How do you know it's on the other side? Maxwell's notes. Door, the door from the slides. I can see myself behind it now. It's real. I can open it. The image is. Slides is a door. You can get the chain up, and I'm going to need the key. You need to open it in order to get out. It's so dark, but if I can get out, maybe there is light. Way to keep this lever pressed down if I want to get into the archive. What kind of security system is that? I hear something. I'm going to plug on the power supply. Okay. I'm going to ignore that.
Well, where are you? It's weird not seeing you at the other side, smiling as always. I'm sure he's fine. I got this working. Hmm. Let's see. The terminator is the online guides. Listen to it? No? I I can't believe it. Believe it? Hacksaw! I'm done with saw. Oh, well, come back, dude. Perfect. Is that Buddy Boy? Throw up. Severed hand. Mummified corpse. That's what it is. That's what she said. What have I done? I can't believe this is happening. That's the logical course of action, is to cut a hand off corpse and find it. Might come in useful later.
I just came here to get some notes, man. I didn't decide to cut up and the corpses. Thanks for lending a hand. Ha ha ha. Nothing left here. I'm damned if I know I'm still searching. I'll leave or find something. Chase through here, aren't they? It's gonna be really awkward and frustrating, isn't it? European family is great and small. Population biographies of prominent members of high society. Yes, yes, yes. House of the Grant, which later merged with House of Arnsberg. His ups and downs over the years, the rise and fall of the Industrial Empire, and the squandering of a legacy by Argos Legrand, the last heir to the huge family fortune, who spent his life obsessed with investigating the paranormal, is one of the most thrilling volumes of this collection. Sinking, go as quickly as you can to escape your bus W. Catch you by the arms. Run this, press A or D at the right time. If you don't manage it, you're simply pressing the same button several times. If too long, you'll definitely sink. Oh, 
Howdy, boys. This might have something to do with Husher's investigation. Let's see. Hmm. It's a book about Argos Legrand. A biography, or a collection of articles about him, I think. He apparently spent part of his life traveling the world in search of odd, rare events. Rich people stuff. I don't know. The biography suddenly ends right after his last journey. It says here, he returned without his equipment, without the huge amount of money he wasted on the project, and with a simple memento of the music he brought home to his little girls, eight-year-old Elaine and newborn Ariadne. And here's a note from Hasha that says, see the archives, events newspaper. Is there a newspaper archive over here? Duh. That it? Should know his history, department's newspaper records. Why do you did so remains a mystery. Alright, folks, well, I guess I'll cut it there for now, right at the two hour mark. Edit this and get it out to you later. I hope you enjoyed it. We're making progress and nobody died this time, which is always nice. Uh, tune in for more. I'll see you then. Bye bye.